And that led to the, you know, I, I would do my sketch or kind of catch the vibe in my head, what's this space going to be, gather my reference, and then, I mean, I don't want to knock your socks off, but I'd get some 3D software out and do this highly rendered piece of artwork here. It didn't matter, it, you know, it's just gray boxes. What this is about is sitting down with the directors, layout artists, production designer, and saying, is this space going to work for the amount of action you want in it? We can move the camera around, feel it out, if you remember from the movie, there's basically an interdimensional vortex happens in here. Is it going to fit? Is it going to work? Um, once we decide on that, it's time to move forward. They can all visualize where we're going. They trust us, the directors and writers and designers. We get the OK on this. Next thing I like to do is I start to add in my lighting, because it's going dictate, to gonna dictate how I have to render everything from now on. I've left 3D by now. That, this is the, the previous slide. That's the extent of my ability in 3D. Boxes, and then I can like Google a toilet, and I'll put the toilet in. So we get the color in. I want, you know, what kind of apartment can this character afford? It's going to be the kind of apartment that has a you know, 160 lot white bulb, uh, light bulb, a lamp, and he's got the gross fluorescent green. You know, it's not, he's not living his best life. You know, that's why it's Burrito Peter. Um, <clears throat> furthermore, di diving in, I start to get my big textures in. You know, he's got the, whoever stocked this place gave him the used fridge. It's still got the grime on it from the 70s. Uh, and getting these textures in, the, it's exposed brick, which is actually kind of nice. But <clears throat> next step is to add, the, you know, the, some of the details. He strikes, Peter Parker, Spider-Man strikes me as a guy who, Something about that red and blue shower curtain just jumps out to him, right? He's going to get that. He's got all his boxes in there, his little laptop. He's got one dresser. That's the blanket I always have to use when I stay on my brother's couch back in Toronto. It's scratchy as all hell. I hate it. That's the kind, you know, he's living his, his worst life. Uh, and then furthermore, what details? He's really moved in now. At the time... Uh, we still hadn't finished moving in, and I was literally using a box as my TV stand watching Breaking Bad, so why not? Take from real life. It's real. It helps. He's got his bicycle. He loves one pizza place, apparently. Uh, you know, and, but he's still a crime fighter. There's no stopping that. So he's got his, like, his map up. He's got his photos. He's got his camera. He's got his printer. Tie it all together, you know. He's the guy who shaves but doesn't bother cleaning up. He doesn't have a wife anymore. This guy's a loser. 